Now, where the sheriff's department tonight is asking for your help to try to find the man who broke into a woman's home, beat, and then choked her. She survived, and now she is sharing her story with a message to help keep your family safe. Ann Kelly live outside the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department right now with more. Ann. That's right, Jason, because as the Hamilton County Sheriff has told me, as his mother of four has confirmed, she got too comfortable knowing that she lives in a pretty safe place. She kept her doors unlocked, making her an easy victim, one who wound up being choked first by her purse and then by a set of earbuds. I didn't scream because I don't want my daughter to wake up because I don't know if more people was here. Rosa Pineda says the entire attack Saturday evening lasted about five minutes. While her 20-year-old daughter was sleeping down the hall, her dog's fast asleep too. She fought for her life. When I take his uh, mask from his face, he punched me. Rosa, who had just returned to her home on Mallory Road after an evening of church choir practice, telling us she doesn't know if the man had already been in her home, if he followed her to her house, when exactly he arrived. She just knows he came into the bedroom after her and didn't leave until he had her laptop, her phone, cash, until she had passed out from being choked. Maybe he think um, he killed me because I was when I wake up, I was like here in the floor. Several days later, the bruises are slowly healing, the marks on her neck fading, but Rosa says she has not recovered. I can't sleep very well because, you know, every noise I wake up very nervous, so it's too difficult for me now. When she does sleep, she says she does so with a bat beside her, just in case. If he come in again. She is also locking her door every time she steps out now trying to secure her home because right now as of right now while police do believe this was an isolated incident that you aren't in danger. The fact remains that the person behind this attack has yet to be arrested for now reporting live in Hamilton County and Kelly RTV six.